My name's Phil. Uh, I'm really excited to be with you here this morning. This morning, if you're in New York or west of New York, this afternoon, if you're across the Atlantic. Um, so let's go ahead and begin in a child's pose, please. Come to kneeling at the center of your mat. Heavy the weight of your hips down and back towards your heels and gently bow your torso forward. Bring your forehead down to meet the mat. From there, you're welcome to explore a little bit, find a space that feels as comfortable as it can feel in your own body. So maybe that's your arms out long in front of you with your palms face down. Maybe it's your arms swept back by your sides with your palms face up. Spread your knees wide apart, create a little bit more space for your belly to hang soft and heavy in between your thighs. Or you could draw your inner thighs close to one another and create a little bit more support for the weight of your torso. Once you try on some options and settle into the space that feels most comfortable for this body that made it to this mat on this particular day, your best to gently close your eyes. Settle in. Feel for your breath. Let it be really simple. Was now I inhale and now I exhale. Throughout this next 60 minutes, really try to stay tethered to the simplicity of your breathing. Follow every inhale in through your nose along the back of your throat. Let it swirl wide in the soft tissue of your lungs, filling you with fresh oxygen. Every exhale, the chance to soften, to release to let go of what no longer is serving you. If at any moment throughout this class, you become disconnected from your breath, it starts to feel held or choppy or forced, take time, take focus to come back to its simplicity. Now I inhale and now I exhale. And if you can't quite do that within the posture that we're exploring at that time, know that you can always come back here. You can find your child's pose as often as you need and use it as a home base to come back to the support of the floor, to come back to the support of your breath. Whenever you need a little bit more connection to your breathing, you can always try to give it a little bit of sound, a little bit of vibration. And that might come out like a gentle sigh, a huh, or maybe a soft flutter of your lips, or maybe an HM, hmm a soft vibration that you feel in your chest. I'll cue them throughout the hour. So we'll start right here, right now, all together. Gently exhale out all of your air with an SH. Take a smooth breath in. Let it fill you up, front to back, side to side, top to bottom. And let it go, HA. Oh. Uh, Nice. It might feel good to begin to gently rock your forehead right to left, massage along the space of your eyebrows from one temple along to the other. You could allow that gentle sway to begin to snake its way down your torso into your hips. Let them rock a little bit back and forth, back and forth. Now, if they're not there already, begin to gently crawl your fingers forwards towards the frontage of your mat. A couple of moments to lengthen out your arms and awaken your hands. Wiggle through your fingertips, each and every knuckle, and your fingers wide and feel the skin stretch along your palms. See if you can walk your hands just a little bit more forward, feel your wrists, your forearms, your elbows lift from the mat, the reach of your arms opening up the length and space along the sides of your body. Good. Take a deep, smooth breath in, and then on your exhale, gently pull yourself forward. Come onto all fours. Create a tabletop position. Yeah, here, plant your palms right underneath your shoulders so that your arms are perpendicular to the floor. Stack your knees right underneath your hips. On an inhale, drop your belly. Lift your gaze and your tail towards the ceiling. Open up the front of your throat. Exhale, scoop your low belly up and in. Push into your palms and round your back. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin, open up the throat, the fronts of the collarbones. Exhale, scoop the belly in, lift the middle of your back high towards the ceiling. One more time. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin, big breath in. 
On your exhale, scoop your belly in and round your back. Now pause here in your rounded cat spine. Keep breathing soft and steady in and out through your nose. Reaffirm the push of your palms into the floor. On your next inhale, curl your toes under. On your exhale, lift your knees just an inch from the floor. So right from the beginning of our practice, beginning to awaken the core, the solar plexus, the center of your power. Keep finding soft, steady breaths in and out through your nose and keep energizing your arms and your legs to help support the stability of your core. Push into your palms, kick into your toe mounds, Keep lifting the middle of your back skyward. Find a steady breath here. Stay with it. Exhale out all of your air. Take a smooth breath in, fill it up. And then on your exhale, send your hips high. Come into an upside down V shape, a downward facing dog. Nice. As you arrive there, embrace something a little bit more free form and fluid. So you might start by pedaling through your feet, rooting one heel to the mat and then the other. You might bend both knees deeply to open up your lower back. You might nod your head yes or shake it side to side, just allowing the weight of your skull to begin to lengthen out the sides of your neck. Keep this soft pedaling of the feet going as you begin to walk them forward towards your hands, come into a forward fold at the frontage of your mat. For this forward fold, separate your feet a comfortable width apart, about six to eight inches in between your inner arches. Keep a gentle sway going, maybe rocking a little side to side, bending one knee, bending the other. You might grasp for opposite elbows or interlace the hands behind the nape of the neck. You're really just a chance to surrender the weight of your head and your torso into the power of gravity. Good, and then if you have a grip, let it go, let your arms just dangle down. And then on your next inhale, come into a half lift. Scoop your low belly in and reach the center of your chest forward. Good, here creating like a tabletop with your back, your hands can rise to your shins or your thighs for a little bit more support. As you press softly palms into legs, try to pull your armpits further away from the creases of your hips as you draw your shoulders back. Nice, Annie. Take one more smooth inhale, and then exhale, let it drop. Hang heavy, forward fold. We'll find one of those to the rhythm of one breath. So inhale, take a half lift, firm belly, long spine. And the moment your exhale comes, let it go, forward fold. On your next inhale, swing yourself forward and up. Come to stand tall in a mountain pose, Tadasana. Reach your fingertips towards the ceiling for this one. Settle into your two feet. And then as soon as you can, gently close your eyes. So I'll invite you to close your eyes often throughout this practice. You know, oftentimes we close the eyes to go to sleep, to go unconscious. Here, the intention, quite different, to close the eyes, to raise the consciousness, to become even more aware of what it feels like to do exactly what you're doing right here in this moment. Stamp down through your feet and feel the muscles of your legs light up. Scoop your belly in and feel the dome of your ribs lift a little taller over the bowl of your head. Reach long through your armpits, your inner elbows, all the way through the tips of your fingers, feeling the strength and length of your arms, while at the same time allowing shoulders to be soft and passive. Now, if the eyes are closed, you might gently flutter them open. Kick down through your heels. Take an inhale, reach up, look up, maybe a little bit back. On your exhale, dive forward, hang heavy, and find your forward fold. Again, moving through that action to the rhythm of one breath. On an inhale, swing yourself forward and up. Go so far up that you go gently back from the peak of your mountain. And the moment your exhale comes, dive forward, hang heavy, forward fold. Now keep going just like that. Every inhale, rise up into your mountain pose. Every exhale, dive forward into your forward fold. We won't put a number on it, so just keep going. Every inhale, rise up. Every exhale, dive forward. See if you can use this time to reconnect to the fullness of your breath. And as you do so, maybe gently challenge your breath. See how big and full you can make every inhale. See how long and emptying you can create every exhale. Get lost in the simplicity of the movement as a means to get lost in the continu continuity of your breath.
The next time you find yourself in a forward fold, take it one last time. Your breath, your movement, kick more down through your heels. Feel the energy rise up through the front of your body. And when you find yourself back in a forward fold, let the head drop heavy. Go for length across the backs of the legs and the back of the torso. So nice. Inhale, take a half lift. Pull your belly and reach your heart forward. Exhale, plant your palms to the mat. Step your feet back and pause in an upper push-up plank. Here, stack your shoulders over your wrists once more, just like you did in your tabletop position. Good. Scoop your low belly up and in and try to feel for your hips lifted at the same line of your shoulders. Nice. Kick back through your heels, energize your legs. So as you kick back through the heels, firm up on the fronts of the thigh. If at any moment this starts to feel like torture, right? You're not here to torture yourself. You could always soften your knees down to the mat and give yourself a little bit more support. And that's true throughout all the elements of our flow. Here we'll build our flow together. We'll take this first one quite slow. So try to stay with the words, stay with each other. Start by exhaling all of your air, empty, empty, squeeze your belly firm. Inhale, lean your chest more forward. Exhale, lower halfway down, elbows in by your sides. Try to pause for a beat. Good, inhale, burst your heart forward and up. Come into upward facing dog and let's pause here for a couple of breaths. Push into your palms, roll your shoulders down your back as you swing your heart forward. Kick into the tops of your feet. Try to peel your thighs off of the floor. Good, Kim. Take one more smooth inhale. Yeah, I'm talking to you. And then on your exhale, curl your toes under, send your hips high, and come into your downward facing dog. Good, back in downward facing dog. Let's find a breath together. Exhale out all of your air. Squeeze your belly firm. Inhale, deep, smooth, fresh breath in. Hey, Che. <sighs> Inhale, lift your right leg long behind you. On an exhale, peel open your right hip and move it around, feel it out. So we're moving back into some free form movement. It doesn't have to look like anything in particular here. A chance to open up your hip and your knee, rotate your ankle, maybe wiggle through each and every one of your toes. Nice. Now take an inhale to reach your right leg long, long, long. On your exhale, pull your knee to your nose. Roll your shoulders over your wrists and round out your back. Good. Inhale, reach your leg long. Exhale, draw your right knee to your right elbow and reach the center of your chest forward like a half lift. Good. Inhale, reach it long. Exhale, go across your body. Bring your right knee to your left armpit. Gaze over your left shoulder. Awesome. Inhale, reach it long. Now as soft as you can, step your foot forward in between your two hands. Good, you might need to inchworm it a little bit more forward to get it all the way to the frontage of your mat. And then release your left knee down to the floor. Come into a low lunge. Untuck your left toes, scoop your hips forward and down. So here, taking some time to open up the front of your left hip. Yeah, nice adjustment there, Monique. You might need to walk your foot a little bit more forward so that you can keep your right heel connected to the floor. Drop your right butt towards your right heel and then walk your hands up onto your right thigh. Interlace your fingers just behind your knee, roll your shoulders down your back and lift your heart top. Keep pressing the hips softly forward. It's not aggressive or forceful, but just using your breath to begin to open up the front of your left hip and your left thigh. Now slowly reach your arms up overhead. Bring your biceps to frame your ears. Good. Take your right hand and grab a hold of your left wrist. Pull your left arm up, 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 and then up and over towards your right. Good. So here, opening up more length and space through the left side body, from the left hip, up the left waist, through the left ribs, all the way through the left fingertips. So nice, Coco. Take one more smooth inhale to reach, reach, reach. On the exhale, draw it back up to center. Take an inhale, reach up, look up, maybe a little bit back. On your exhale, gently bring your two hands down to frame your front foot. Tuck your left toes under and squeeze your left leg straight and then big step forward to come into your forward fold at the front edge of your mat. Good. Feet about hips with the part. Inhale, take a half lift. Pull your belly in, reach your heart forward. And exhale, let it drop. Hang soft, hang heavy. 
Again, check back in with your feet. Make sure they're about your inner hips with distance. And a general measurement is you could place two fists in between your inner arches. On your next inhale, sit your seat low, reach your arms tall, and come into a chair pose. Here, rock the weight back into the center of your heels. Shift your shins back in space to open up some space across the fronts of the ankle. Yeah, that's it, Leticia. Good. Sit a little bit more down and back if you're able, really begin to build a little bit of heat and fire in the belly of your thighs, gorgeous. Scoop your low belly up and in, support your lower back. Keep swinging your heart forward and up as you reach your arms long, energized through your fingertips and see if you can lift your arms just a little higher towards your ears, good Debbie. Sit just a little lower and stay where you are. Exhale out all of your air, empty, empty, empty. Kick into your heels, inhale, stand up, reach up, go right into your gentle back bend. And then exhale, dive forward, hang heavy forward, fold. Maybe nod your head yes or shake it no, just give yourself a gentle movement to soften that effort. And then inhale, take a half lift, pull your belly in, reach your heart forward. Exhale, plant your palms to the mat, step your feet back and pause in your upper push-up plank. Shoulders over wrists, hips in line with shoulders, set it up like you already know how. Before we move through another flow, we'll take three yogi push-ups. Inhale, push the mat away, exhale lower just halfway down, elbows in by your sides, and then squeeze it straight back up, you got it. Exhale lower halfway, again, elbows in, best you can, squeeze it straight back up. Last one, exhale lower halfway down, squeeze it straight back up, and then move through your flow, lower that halfway down, Inhale, burst forward into upward facing dog. Big breath in, and then exhale, take the path into your downward facing dog. Nice. Right as you arrive there, inhale, float your left leg long behind you. Exhale, peel open the left hip and move it around, feel it out. So a whole new side of your body, a whole new opportunity to play and to explore. Good. Find an inhale to reach your left leg long, long, long. Exhale, slowly knee to nose. Pull the belly in, round the spine. Inhale, reach it long. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Maybe try to lift it a little higher towards your left armpit. Good. Inhale, reach it long. Exhale, left knee across the body. Try to touch it to your right arm. Inhale, reach it long. And now as soft as you can, step your foot in between your two hands. Release your right knee down onto the floor, untuck your right toes. So rather than being right on top of your right kneecap, try to move your hips more forward so that you get the weight more to the front of your kneecap, the bottom of your thigh. Good, hips forward, walk the hands up onto the left thigh. Roll the shoulders down and back. Take a moment to feel the lift of your chest and the length of the sides of your waist. Keep that lift in length and reach your arms up towards the ceiling, biceps framing your ears. This time, take your left hand, grab a hold of your right wrist, pull it up, 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 and up and over towards the left. So here, again, less so how much down you go towards the left, more so how much length can you find through the right, up the right thigh, through the right hip, through the right ribs, through the right armpit, all the way through the right fingers. Take one more smooth inhale into that space. Exhale, draw it back up to center. Inhale, reach up, look up, maybe a little bit back. On the exhale, gently two hands to frame your front foot. Tuck your right toes under, squeeze your right leg straight. Big step forward to come into your forward fold. Hang soft, hang heavy. Right as you arrive, inhale, half lift, firm belly, long spine. Exhale, let it drop, let it go. Feet hips width apart, no hesitation, go for it. Inhale, sit low, reach tall, chair pose. Right, so how you enter the posture is uh, pretty indicative of how you'll experience it. If you move into it with reluctance, with resistance, chances are that's how you're gonna feel when you're in it. So see if you can make the choices that you're making with gusto as acknowledging them, the choices that you're making. So cho choose them fully and embrace them. Embrace them with your body, embrace them with your breath, embrace them with your focus. Sit a little lower if you're able, stay low. Exhale out all of your air, empty, empty, empty your lungs. Kick into your heels, inhale, stand up, reach up, look up, go up. 
Exhale, dive forward, hang heavy, and find your forward fold. Choose rest just as fully as you just chose work. Inhale, take a half lift, pull your belly and reach your heart forward. Exhale, plant your palms to the mat, step your feet back, and again, pause in your upper push-up plank. Right, we're getting all of the core work out of the way at the front half of class when you have the energy for it. Keep pushing into your palms, keep lifting your middle back in between your shoulder blades. Keep your body in this nice long plank position. Take your right hand and tap your left shoulder. Gently place your right hand back down to the floor. Yeah, take your left hand and tap your right shoulder. And gently place your hand back down to the floor. Inhale, take your right hand to your left shoulder. Exhale, right hand down to the floor. Inhale, left hand to right shoulder. Exhale, right hand down to the floor. You get the idea. Keep it going to the rhythm of your own breath. Do your best to keep your hips facing the floor. Try not to sway too much side to side. Firm belly for 10. For nine, looks so good, Jess. Keep it strong, keep it going. Five, four, three, two. Come back to center, inhale, push the mat away. And exhale, move through your flow. Lower halfway down, inhale, extra big breath in that upward facing dog. And then back and downward facing dog. Exhale out all of your air. Empty, empty, empty all the old effort. Inhale something fresh, something new. Niche. <sighs> Inhale, lift your right leg long behind you. As soft as you can, step your foot in between your two hands. This time, rotate your back heel down to the mat. And inhale, rise up into a warrior one. Good. So arms up towards the ceiling. Right from the start, sit low into your front thigh. Stack your front knee over your front ankle. And as you gently kick into your right heel, pull your right hip back. Drive down through your left heel to roll your left hip forward. Scoop your belly in. Feel long through the sides of your waist and grow long through the tips of your fingers. Soft shoulders, soft gaze. If you're able, close your eyes and give yourself a couple of moments. Feel what it feels like to be where you are. Sit just a little lower if you're able. Take an inhale, reach up tall. And then on your exhale, peel open into your warrior two. Reach your right arm forward and expand your left arm back. Feeling your hips and your chest open towards the long side edge of your mat. Yeah, you might lengthen out your stance a little bit so that you can take up even more space. One day sitting so low, bottom of your right thigh comes parallel to the floor. Good. As you solidify your base right where it is, Flex your fingers up towards the ceiling so it's like you're stopping traffic in both directions, rooting long through the heel of your wrist. This is a good stretch for the undersides of your arms. Try to pull the fingernails more towards your face so that you can really light up the bottom of your forearms, really stretch your wrists. Good. Sit just a little lower. Take one more smooth inhale. And then on your exhale, part with the hands down to the mat. Step the right foot back and move through your flow. Each and every flow for movements to reconnect you to two steady breaths. Keep it moving right from downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg long behind you. Exhale, gently step your foot in between your two hands. Rotate the back heel down. Inhale, rise up and begin to create your warrior one right? You create it. The cues are there as your guide, but it's your opportunity to really feel it from the ground up, to feel your heels root into the floor, to feel your right hip roll forward and pull your left hip back, to feel the lift, the length, and the buoyancy of your torso. Soft shoulders, soft jaw, close your eyes and fuel your body with soft, steady, easy breath. Good, kick into your heels, take an inhale, reach just a little taller. And then exhale, peel open wide, warrior two, left arm forward and right arm back. Feel your hips and your chest open towards the long side edge of your mat, especially the moment where you wanna come out of your lunge or drop your arms. See if you can maybe sit a little lower and reach a little wider, infusing your body with more energy so that it might feel a little bit more supported. 
Again, staying low in your lunge, flex your fingers up towards the ceiling, pull the backs of your hands towards your face like you were stopping direct, uh, traffic in both directions. See if you can feel this reach from heel of wrist to heel of wrist, traveling through the undersides of your arms into your armpits across the center of your chest, opening up more space to breathe in your rib cage. Take one more deep inhale into that space, and then exhale, part with the hands down to the mat. Step the left foot back, move through your flow. Let your flow reconnect you to your breath, and then keep moving, one breath per one movement. Take warrior one and warrior two. Try it once on the right side and explore it once on the left side. So here your opportunity to move to the cadence of your own breathing. Again, let it be simple, as simple as every inhale you move and every exhale you move again. Wherever you're able, find those moments to gently close your eyes. Draw your vision inward and take the time to be with yourself all of yourself, the spaces that are feeling really strong and able, the spaces that are feeling a little bit more tired and fatigued, right? Whatever you're feeling, let it be what you're feeling and see if you can just keep going. And maybe keeping going is moving through these postures, maybe keeping going is finding a moment of rest, but wherever you are, do your best to stay on your mat, not only physically, but mentally. Stay with the sensations of your body. Stay with the rhythm of your breathing. Keep taking your time. We'll find each other back uh, on all fours. So when you come back into downward facing dog after the left side through, you'll gently return back onto your knees. Set it up like you already know how. Palms right underneath the shoulders, knees right underneath the hips. Find a couple of cat-cow postures to reset your spine. Every inhale, drop your belly, lift your chin, and open the chest. Every exhale, scoop your belly in, push into your palms, and round your back. Maybe you take something a little bit more circular and free form. You could roll the neck, jump rope the ribs, sway the hips. Let it be a soft flossing out of your body. Again, just beginning to open up spaces that maybe feel a little tender, a little tight. Good, and then go ahead and come back to center. Let's meet each other in a long neutral spine. So think like a half lift with your torso, broad collarbones and firm belly. On your next inhale, reach your right arm forward and extend your left leg back, coming into spinal balance. So balance is in the name. It might wobble, it might shake a little bit, no worries. If you fall out completely, just pick yourself back up and try again. Push into your left palm, kick into your right shin. Use those points of support from the floor to support you here. Belly firm, see if you can reach a little bit more forward and up and kick a little bit more back. Good, Sophie. Take one more smooth inhale. On your exhale, pull your elbow to your knee underneath yourself, tuck your chin into your chest and round your back. Inhale, reach your body long. Exhale, elbow to knee again, push into the floor, lift your middle spine. Inhale, reach it long. One more time. Exhale, elbow to knee, hug it in, in, in. Inhale, reach it long. Now stay long. Bend your back knee, reach behind you with your right hand. Get a hold of your left foot. And as you do, begin to kick. Kick back and kick up. Try to kick your left heel as far away from your left butt cheek as you can. Push into your left palm, reach your chest forward. And in the final few moments, try to be a little bit more bold. Look up, kick up, go up. Good, and then gently let it go, arm forward, leg back, and place them both down onto the mat. Give yourself a moment, maybe shake something loose, a flutter of the lips. Let that side go. And then come back into your long neutral spine, firm belly, heart forward. On your next inhale, go right for it. Left arm forward, right leg back, find your spinal balance. Turn your left palm towards the right so that your thumb is face up. Yeah, good, Annie. So that your shoulder just has a little bit more space in its socket. Now try to pull the fingertips a little bit more forward as you lift the arm a little higher towards your ear and kick your right leg more back, back, back. Take a smooth inhale. On your exhale, elbow to knee underneath yourself. Scoop the belly in, round the spine. 
Inhale, reach it long. Exhale, elbow to knee, move slow with control. Inhale, reach it long. One more time. Exhale, elbow to knee, hug it in, in, in. Inhale, reach it long. And then bend your back knee, reach behind you with your left hand and catch a hold of your right foot. As you find your foot, begin to kick, kick back, kick back. At the same time, think of rolling your right hip forward and down so that you get even more stretch through the front of your right hip, through your right thigh. Kick up through your right toes, chin up, look up, kick up, go up, and then softly let it go. Arm forward, leg back, and place them gently down to the mat. Here we'll take just a moment to slow things down a little bit. We'll thread the needle. So on an inhale, lift your right arm straight up towards the ceiling, open up your chest towards the right side edge of your mat, and then gently thread your right arm through your left and come to resting on top of your right shoulder. The top of your right shoulder, your right ear connected to the mat. You can use your left hand underneath your left shoulder for support. You could walk your hand forward towards the front edge of your mat to lengthen out the left side of your body or you could wrap your left arm behind your back and grasp your inner right thigh. Roll your chest open, breathe across your heart space. Do less, do less, do less. Good, and if it moved, replant the left palm right underneath the left shoulder. Inhale, reach the right arm back up towards the ceiling, broaden the chest, and then softly plant the right palm down. Inhale, reach the left arm up, up, up. For the next exhale, dive the left arm through the right, soften in. And again, find a space that feels comfortable for you to lengthen out your breath. Let that be what this moment is for, slowing down your exhales so that you can slow down your heart rate, calm your body, revitalize, re-energize. It moved, replant the right palm right underneath the right shoulder. Inhale, reach the left arm up, up, up. And then softly plant the left palm underneath the shoulder. Inhale, fan your fingers wide, curl your toes under. And exhale, send your hips high, come into downward facing dog. As you arrive there, move it around, feel it out, get to know it once more. Now we'll move into our final push of effort for this class. Inhale, reach your right arm or your right leg long behind you. And as soft as you can, step your foot in between your two hands. This time, rotate your back heel down to the mat, but then swing your arms back by your sides, palms facing down for your, your power lunge. So from the waist down, it's just like a warrior one. Pull your left hip forward and pull your right hip back. From the waist up, it's like your half lift. Scoop your belly in and reach your heart forward. Now bring your hands all the way together behind you, clasp them in one big fist, and punch straight back towards the back wall. Squeeze the shoulder blades to broaden the collarbones. Take a big inhale through your heart space. And then on your exhale, reach your arms out long in front of you, biceps framing your ears for your extended power lunge. Good, stay low, reach long. Exhale out all of your air. Shh. Inhale, rise up for warrior one. And exhale, peel open for warrior two. Reach your right arm forward and your left arm back, broadening your hips and your chest towards the side wall. Now stay low, flip your right palm towards the ceiling. Reach it forward, reach it up, up and back for your reverse warrior into your two heels, scoop your belly in, and lift your right ribs high towards the ceiling. Pull long through your right fingertips. Take one more deep inhale. On your exhale, tilt. Bring your right hand down to the inside of your right foot. Reach your left arm straight up towards the ceiling. This is your side angle. Good, stay shift. Push your right arm into your right leg to scoop your right ribs a little bit more underneath your left. Gorgeous. Spread your arms wide apart. Take a smooth inhale. On your exhale, reach your left arm forward over your left ear, extended side angle, lengthening out through the left side body all the way through the left fingertips. 
kick into your two feet, scoop your belly in and inhale, lift your right arm up to meet the left, biceps framing your ears for your core strengthener. Good, stay low in your lunge, reach long through your fingertips. Listen carefully, take a smooth inhale. On your exhale, back to extended power lunge. Keep reaching forward as you roll your left hip and your left ribs forward. So now your body is hovering over your right thigh again. Good, now pop your back heel up towards the ceiling, all 10 toes pointed forward. Inhale, rise up into your high crescent lunge. Yeah, totally. Sit low into your front thigh. Just keep your back heel lifted towards the ceiling. Kick into your two feet. Bring your palms to press overhead. Drag them down to the center of your chest. One long line from elbow tip to elbow tip. Inhale, puff your heart. And then exhale, twist to your right. Hook your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. Press your arm into your leg and your top palm down into your bottom palm. Loop your left ribs underneath your right. Yeah, nice adjustment there, Sophie. Really lifting the back of your left thigh skyward to stay strong and active through your back leg. If you wanna to move towards a flyaway, you could reach your arms away from one another. Looking for a bind, you could release your right arm behind your back, maybe catch your left hand underneath your right thigh. One more smooth inhale to roll open here. On your exhale, roll yourself back to center, stay low in your lunge. Maybe sit just a little lower, reach your arms up overhead, biceps frame your ears. Take an inhale, reach up, look up, maybe back. On the exhale, standing split. Dive your hands forward onto the mat, lift your left leg straight up towards the ceiling. Squeeze your left thigh to straighten your left leg. Your right leg can still be a little bent, that's okay, but try to squeeze your lifted leg as straight as it will go. And drop your head a little heavier than you already think you are. Yeah, maybe walk your hands back towards your right foot. Squeeze your left glute to send your left leg just a little higher. One more smooth inhale. On your exhale, step your left foot down to meet your right forward fold. Cool. This time in your forward fold, toe heel your feet together. Create one strong inner leg. So toes and heels, inner thighs squeezing. Inhale, take a half lift, pull your belly in, reach your heart forward. Exhale, let it go, forward fold. Now on your next inhale, sit your seat low, reach your arms tall, press your palms together this time for a thunderbolt position. Squeeze the inner thighs, nice Tima. Sit the weight a little bit more back into your heels. Good. As you sit down, scoop your belly in and lift your heart tall. Press pinky finger into pinky finger. Wrap your armpits towards one another to really light up the muscles of your upper arms and your chest. Sit just a little lower. Exhale out all of your air. S-H. On an inhale, stand straight up. Stay standing tall and exhale. Let your arms float down by your side. Give yourself a couple of moments. Feel what it feels like to stand quite simply. On your two feet, heart lifted, shoulders soft. Take a smooth inhale and a soft exhale. And here we'll move into one last balancing posture, sort of putting together a lot of things we've already done in this class. It's called standing bow pulling pose. Bring your right elbow to your right waistband with your palm facing up towards the ceiling, almost like you were holding a tray. And then simply release your hand behind you and pick up your right foot from the inside, the side with your big toe. So the eye of your elbow, the part that you give blood with, try to keep it open towards the right side of the room. Roll your right shoulder back behind you and then swing your left arm down, forward and up towards the ceiling. Reach up towards the ceiling and then begin to kick and reach. So just like we did on all fours, kicking back and kicking up, creating as much space between your right heel and your right butt cheek as you can. Let your right shoulder roll back behind you as you swing your left rib cage forward, your left armpit forward. Find a gentle twist across the center of your chest. Good. If you wobble, if you fall, no worries. Pick it up, try one more time. Kick down through your left foot, kick up through your right foot. Take one more big inhale to kick, kick, kick. 
And then on your exhale, softly kick to come out, move slow with control. When your two feet find the floor, inhale, reach up, look up, maybe a little bit back. And then on your exhale, dive forward, hang heavy, find a forward fold. Inhale, take a half lift, pull your belly in, reach your heart forward. Exhale, plant your palms, step or hop back, and reset your body with a gentle flow. Back and downward facing dog. Let's reset and reconnect with a breath. Exhale out all of your air, S-H. Take a smooth, full breath in. H A. Inhale, reach your left leg long behind you. As soft as you can, step your foot in between your two hands. Again, rotate your back heel down to the mat, and then swing your arms back by your sides, palms face down, powerful lunge. Infuse it with all of your power, kick down through your heels, scoop your belly in, reach your heart forward as you reach your arms back. And then go ahead and clasp your hands in one big fist, then punch straight back towards the back wall. Squeeze the shoulder blades to broaden the chest. Take a big inhale. On your exhale, reach your arms out long in front of you, biceps framing your ears. Good. Stay low, belly firm. Exhale out all of your air. Empty, empty, empty. Inhale, rise up for warrior one. Exhale, peel open like a bird landing on water. Feel yourself arrive. A little bit of resistance in the air beneath your arms. Stay low, flip your left palm towards the ceiling, reach it forward, reach it up, 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 and gently back to reverse your warrior. Stay low in your front thigh, kick into your two heels, drop the top of your butt towards the bottom of your butt, lengthening out your lower back as you lift your left ribs, up, up, up. Take one more smooth inhale. On your exhale, tilt, left hand down to the inside of your left foot. Reach your right arm straight up towards the ceiling, side angle. Press left arm into left leg and vice versa to feel the front of your body peel a little bit more open towards the side of the room. Spread your arms wide, take a smooth inhale. On your exhale, reach your right arm forward over your right ear, extended side angle. Reach long, 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 kick into your heels and inhale, lift your left arm up to meet your right, biceps framing your ears, Core strengthen it. Keep rolling your left ribs underneath your right. Yeah, take one more smooth inhale. Now on your exhale, do the opposite. Roll your right ribs, your right hip forward to turn your chest forward over your front thigh. Extended power lunge. Pop your back heel up towards the ceiling, all 10 toes pointed straight forward. On your inhale, lift your torso up so that you come into your high crescent lunge. Feel what it feels like to tap, stack your shoulders right over your hips. Maybe sit a little lower into your front leg. Good. Bring your palms to press overhead. Drag them down to center chest. One long line from elbow tip to elbow tip. Inhale, puff your heart. Exhale, twist to the left. Hook your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Press arm into leg. Shove top palm into bottom palm. As you scoop your belly in, try to lift the center of your chest, exactly, Ileana, to the two thumbs. And then if you have it, maybe you fly away, maybe you bind. But again, keep the breath at the forefront. Steady breaths in and smooth breaths out. One more smooth inhale to roll open. On your exhale, draw it back to center. Stay low. Take an inhale. Reach up. Look up. Maybe a little bit back. On your exhale, dive into your standing split. Bring your hands to the floor. Kick into your left foot and lift your right foot high up towards the ceiling. Drop your head heavy and then use your strength to facilitate your flexibility. Squeeze the muscles of your right butt to open up the front of your right hip. Lift your right foot a little higher. Squeeze your right thigh to straighten your right knee. Drop your head. Take one more smooth inhale to lift it up, up, up. And then gently step your right foot down to meet your left. Forward fold. Toes and heels all the way together right from the start. Inhale, take a half lift. Scoop the belly in, reach the heart forward. Exhale, let it drop. Hang soft, hang heavy. 
Thunderbolt. Inhale, sit the seat low, reach the arms out, press the palms together. Get there, right? Don't wait. Find your own edge, that space that feels quite full, full of sensation, and then greet it with the fullness of breath. Smooth inhales and smooth exhales. Sit a little lower if you're able. Scoop your belly in. Exhale out all of your air. S-H. Inhale, stand straight up, stand tall, and let your arms fall down by your sides on a gentle exhale. Give yourself a couple of moments again. Feel what it feels like to have the support of both your feet beneath you. Heart tall, shoulders soft. And then we'll move into that balancing posture, this time on the other side. Bring your left elbow to your left waistband, your palm face up. Bring your arm behind your back and pick up your left foot from the inside. Again, the side with your big toe. Roll your left shoulder back behind you from the start. Bring your right arm down, forward, and up towards the ceiling. Trying to create as much length from your right heel through your right fingertips as you can. Keep that lift and length and begin to infuse it with oppositional forces, kick and reach. The kick is taking your two legs away from one another, down through your right foot and up through your left toes. The reach is pulling your arms away from one another like a warrior two. Pull your right armpit forward and roll your left shoulder back. Yeah, the weebles, the wobbles, that's a part of the learning process. Keep teaching yourself resilience by picking yourself up every time you fall. Chin level, eyes forward. Give it all you've got. One more deep inhale to kick, kick, kick. And then softly kick to come out. Bring your two feet to the floor. Nice work. Two feet on the mat. Inhale, reach up. Look up. Maybe a little bit back. And then exhale, dive forward. Hang heavy. Forward fold. Inhale, reset with a half lift. Firm belly, long spine. Exhale, plant your palms to the mat. Step or hop back and move through your flow. From downward facing dog, we'll move into our more restorative phase of class. We'll kick it off with a half pigeon. Inhale, lift your right leg long behind you. Bend at your right knee and softly swing it forward. Place your right knee all the way over to the right side edge of your mat. So try wider than your right wrist. Extend your left leg straight back behind you. Try to level off your hips towards the front of the room, rolling your left hip a little forward and pulling your right hip a little back. Take an inhale. Lift your chest tall and gently melt yourself forward over your front leg. As soon as you're able, close your eyes. Drop into the support of the floor. Allow all of your previous efforts to begin to melt away as once again you return to the simplicity of your breathing. Simple as every inhale, you fill up, you create more space within the limits of your skin. Every exhale, you release, you soften, you fall into that space. Notice where in your own body you can infuse yourself with a little bit more softness. Maybe it's in your hips, maybe it's in your shoulders, maybe it's in your jaw or that space across your eyebrows. Wherever you are sort of sneakily holding on to tension, see if you can first notice it. Awareness is always the first step. And then if you find the awareness, you can make a choice. Right? Maybe you begin to use your breath to soften that space. It might not happen all at once. So again, be patient with yourself. Be patient in your unfolding, breath by breath, moment by moment. If it's available to you, gently exhale out all of your air, S-H. Inhale deeper, fuller, wider than you thought you could. Hold it gently there for a moment. Feel your lips and let it go H M. If you can give yourself just a couple more moments, let that vibration sort of bounce around in your body until it dissipates through your furthest corner. 
And then soft, slow and gentle, begin to walk your hands back the way they walked out. Put your palms underneath your shoulders, curl your left toes under. Bring your right leg back, you can move through a flow or you could head right back into a downward facing dog. Move it around, feel it out. And then we'll meet together in half pigeon on the left hand side. To get there and inhale to swing the left leg long, bend at the left knee and gently pull it forward. Left knee all the way over to the left side edge of your mat, wider than your left wrist. Pull your right leg long, 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 long behind you. Set it up with a whole lot of care, a whole lot of specificity. And then with a long waist and a tall heart, begin to fall forward over your front leg. Right, and the setting it up is full of care, full of specificity, so that when you're in it, maybe you can think a little less about ideas of should, what it should look like, or what it should feel like. And you can really just give yourself a little bit more time to surrender into the nowness of this moment, of these feelings, of this breath. One of my favorite Rumi quotes, beyond ideas of right doing and wrong doing, there is a field. I'll meet you there. Here, see if you can really give yourself the opportunity to sort of fall into that field, to greet yourself with kindness and care rather than judgment and critique. Sit with yourself where you are rather than chasing ideas of where you want to be. Gently exhale out all of your air, S-H. Inhale, feel for the fullness of this particular breath. H-M. And give it time for that breath to travel through your body. And then soft and slow, begin to crawl your hands underneath your shoulders, press the floor away. Curl your right toes under, swing your left leg back, maybe travel through one last flow, or head right back into your final down dog for this hour of class. Move it around, feel it out one more time. And then from that downward facing dog, we'll move into a set of camel pose. So using the strength of your belly, you'll gently place your two knees down onto the floor. With your knees hips width apart, walk your hands back towards them to come to standing tall upon them, shoulders stacked over hips. Bring your hands to your lower back, the heel of your wrist just beneath your lowest rib. So your hands on that space of your back where you no longer have ribs for support. Before you move anywhere, see if you can just pull your elbows a little closer, drawing your shoulder blades together to broaden your chest. Good. Now breathe soft and steady through your nose. On an inhale, lift your chin up towards the ceiling. That's a camel pose. You're already in it. Nothing to push, nothing to force. When your breath feels fluid in this space, maybe look back to see the back wall. When your breath feels fluid in this space, maybe reach for your heels, fingers on the inside, and thumbs on the outside. All along the way, pressing your hips forward, kicking into your shins to lift the center of your chest a little taller. Feel the opening of space across the front of your body and breathe into that space. One more smooth inhale. On your exhale, slow, bring your hands back to the small of your back. Support yourself as you rise up top. Sink your hips down to meet your heels. See if you can gently close your eyes, and as soon as you're able, leave yourself alone. Give yourself a couple of moments to sit tall. Back to simplicity. Now I inhale. Now I exhale. Sitting in the fullness of your body, of your breath, of your sensation. Remembering that no feeling is final. Soak it in while it's here. And 
and then keeping your eyes closed if you're able, we'll move into a seated forward fold. Bring your hands to either side of you, swing your legs out long in front of you. Walk your hips back a couple of times to tilt the bowl of your pelvis forward, rooting into the bony parts of your back. Flex your toes back, scoop your belly in, inhale, reach your arms up, 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 and then exhale, dive forward across your two legs. You could find the stretch as active or as passive as you'd like. Something a little bit more passive, keep the knees bent, drop the head heavy, and just let your arms dangle by your legs. Something a little bit more active, catch a hold of your feet, take your heels forward, firm up on the fronts of your thighs to stretch the backs of your legs. Every inhale, think half lift, belly and heart forward, shoulders back. And every exhale, try to crease at your elbows to pull your mouth one day to bite your toes. And then wherever you are, gently drop your head, tuck your chin into your chest, and begin to slowly round yourself up until you're seated tall. Use your hips to about the center of your mat, and then begin to round yourself down to meet your mat, inch by inch, bone by bone, as quickly or as slowly as you'd like. When you find the floor, pull your knees into your chest, grasp for opposite elbows, opposite elbows, uh, maybe the opposite forearms or wrists, whatever you can catch a hold of to give yourself a nice steady squeeze. Well-deserved hug. You deserve a hug always. Maybe you rock a little bit side to side. Maybe you make little circles with your pelvis. Massage your little back. Take one more smooth inhale there. And then on your exhale, gently let your arms and your legs fall out long onto the floor. We'll take just these next couple of moments to set up this, the final posture of our hour together, Savasana. Set it up with just as much care and awareness as all the postures that led you to it. Arms and legs out long, spilling heavy into the floor. Let your toes fall outwards and your palms face up so that you can release the inner thighs and broaden the chest. Soft throat, easy jaw, do your best to gently close your eyes. Now, as you softly close your eyes, flip beneath the surface of your skin, your muscles, even your bones. Imagine yourself floating and falling deeper and deeper and deeper into the vast internal waters of your own body. Do less, do less, do less. Thank you so, so much for your practice today. Thank you for coming. Thank you for staying. And thank you for filling this hour with you, your body, your breath, your spirit, your awareness. Such a gift. Thank you for your time and energy. We are and always will be a donation-based studio. Anything you're able to offer, uh, it's a gift. It's a gift to yourself. It creates this community and this space that allows you to find this practice. It's a gift for your neighbor who might not be able to donate today. So I've put the donation button in the chat. It's yogatothepeople.com slash donate. Thank you. We'll end our class with a breath and a quote. This quote is called Nature. When I roam lofty mountains, I feel like my soul is raised on high and covered like the peaks in never melting caps of stone. And when I descend into the valleys, I feel deep and profound like them and my heart fills with mysterious shadows. The same thing happens at the edge of the sea. There I merge with the surging waves. They pound and roar within me. When I gaze at the sky, I expand. I become boundless, unlimited. When I look at the stars, silence permeates me. When I see a flower, the ecstasy of beauty overwhelms me. When I hear a bird singing its song, 
is an echo of my own inner voice. And when I look into the eyes of an animal, I see no difference between theirs and my own. Gradually, my separate existence has vanished for the illusion that it was. Only peace remains. Once more, please exhale out all of your air. Empty, empty, empty your lungs. Inhale, so deep, so full, so new. Eche. You're welcome to stay in your savasana for as long as you'd like. When you're ready to exit it, you might begin by wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes. Maybe rolling over to one side of your body and gently coming up to a seated position. I've given you the option to now unmute yourself if you'd like. I'll be on this call for the next 10 minutes or so. Uh, again, thank you so, so much for your practice. Thanks, Corinne. It's so nice to see you so often on here. Um, if you have any questions about this practice, about any of our other offerings, we're doing a bunch of workshops, breath work, um, Feel free to ask. Thank you.